From our nation's capital, this is Big East Basketball. Our matchup today is the 20th all-time meeting between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Georgetown Hoyas from Capital One Arena, the site of our game this afternoon. Tom Wormy along with Dickie Simpkins, three-time NBA champ and the former standout at Providence College. The Hoyas coming off the loss Wednesday at DePaul, 82-74. They're 6-16 six on the season. Creighton is 14-8. and eight. John Gaffney, Evan Burrows, Tim Clockerty in charge of the activity and action this afternoon. This is O'Connell with the basketball. Drops it low, and it's an easy two to Kalkbrenner. Only shooting 30%, and you expect O'Connell to knock down shots. Finally able to capitalize for the Blue Jays. Nebhard. Boy is on the run. Miller couldn't hit the shot there as Carey missed. At the other end, it's an easy jam, and that's going to be O'Connell. Had a huge game against Syracuse on this court. 23 points and 13 boards. Hawkins out of the corner. He can knock down shots. Over a thousand career rebounds as well as he gathers that basketball for the Blue Jays. All the run in transition. Drop off to Cockbrenner. He'll bend that rim. Northwest Missouri State. And won three national titles with that program. Quickly up the court for the Blue Jays off the backboard. Nemhard. Hawkins steps into the three and rips the ropes. Eight and a half minutes to go in our first half. Tom Wormy, Dickie Simpkins are outstanding. Big East basketball production crew with you, and that's Hawkins. Dwindling down to 10 now for the Blue Jays. All the way across to Hawkins, the catch and release, and he cashes in. Rice has six points. They drop it low, Kalkbrenner on the alley-oop, and he slams it home from Nebhard. Good defense by Nimhart playing the passing lane. How about Hawkins? Another three ball. He is money. He's only made one this season and attempted just three coming into the game. Now trying to defend against Karkbrenner. Matumbo holds his ground. Second chance up and good. It was on three-point attempts. They are shooting 43% as a team. Aliou Karkbrenner at the rim, and he slams it. Yeah, Wisconsin playing well with Johnny Davis, the talented two-guard. Very impressive player. Seven-point advantage for the Blue Jays. Kalk Brenner on the alley-oop from Nimhard. Right there, a little hezzy, drag, and then the layup. Cuts the lead to four. It's going back up with a three straight away from the Blue Jays. The struggle from three-point shooting, but they're making them today. Miss from Harris. Hawkins ends up with it. They want another three back-to-back -back possessions. Hawkins had a little bit of daylight, and that's all he needs. Modestus Conslaris, the freshman from Lithuania, 55 and blue is in there. 14-point lead is the largest of the game. They go alley-oop, and it's a big-time jam from Pizel. Assists. Those two guys combining for 13 assists to their teammates. They do it again. That's a 9-0 Georgetown run. Over the last two minutes and 52 seconds, and five of those points coming from Billingsley, who hit his first three of the season. Hawkins, he's got the answer for the Blue Jays. They figured out how to stop the lob passes, but now they continue to allow Hawkins to have open looks. This is Hawkins again, and he hits another three ball. They figured out how to stop the lob passes, but now they continue to allow Hawkins to have open looks. This is Hawkins again, and he hits another three ball. The entry pass, Kalkbrenner, tough catch against Wilson. Coach Cooley, Frytown, beat them dudes. Kalkbrenner, off the free from O'Connell, made it look easy. He's able to gather it. Alexander wide open. The 66 is the final count, and Creighton improves its record to 15 and 8. 
Three and four on the road in Big East play. And Hawkins leading the way with an even 30 for Coach McDermott. His teammate, Kalkbrenner, had 22.